Corey James Ryder right, Randolph. I'm a member of the Greater Washington, D.C. chapter of the Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers were four regiments that were created after the Civil War. It was the first time that black Americans were in the regular army. When the Cheyenne and the, and the uh, Comanche first saw them, they saw that their skin was darker and their hair was different than the white and different than the Native Americans and different than the Mexican Americans. The officers were white and the men were black. They called them wild buffalo. The Comanche called them wild buffalo. The Cheyenne called them crazy buffaloes. That became buffalo soldiers. Most of the time we make presentations, it's not below the second grade. It's at middle schools and high schools. When we went to T.C. Williams in um, Virginia, we walked into the um, to school, and the kids were looking down at us, and they saw our uniforms, and they said, are you from the movie Glory? We said, no, the glory was the Civil War. The Buffalo Soldiers were created because of the, the fine performance by the U.S. colored troops in the Civil War. The Army decided, let's create black regiments. They said, You're, we're not glory. I said, that was Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman. And they said, Buffalo Soldiers, you mean like the Bob Marley song? And I said, who do you think Bob Marley was singing about? You guys, correct. Now, obviously, I'm not a Buffalo Soldier. There's only one or two left. I think the one in New Orleans is 108 years old. So I'm too young to be a Buffalo soldier, even though I've got three grandkids here right now. So, okay, what I'm gonna ask you all is, this is Trooper Linda Crawford. Yes, we have females in our chapter. Matter of fact, that's why our chapter is good, because of the females. Now, there were no smartphones in 1866. What is this? All right, the trumpet has been in the military for a long time. Did you know that? If you look into the Old Testament, the trumpet was where? At the Battle of Jericho. So the trumpet has been around a long time, right? Okay, there were no smartphones. There were no radios. So how did the Army communicate in 1866? With this, what did it do? It told you to get up in the morning, it told you to go to bed at night. In the middle of a battle, there was a lot of noise, but you could hear the trumpet. Now, just make sure my 70-year-old uh, lips don't fail me here, but here's one of the calls that you would play all the time. no smartphones, okay? In 1969, when I got drafted, I had to learn Morse code. CQ, CQ, this is, this is. Anybody know what this is? SOS. Oh, you guys are too good. SOS, right. There were no radios, there were no telephones, Ships at sea, airplanes, on uh, land, they would send this signal. It would go up into the ionosphere and back down. It would go a long way. It's a short wave radio. So this is how they communicated. Now you notice that when I'm at the 
middle schools and high schools, I might have my 